Hey YouTube, this is Carl, KC8YLT. Haven't made a video in a while, just wanted to make a real quick one uh, from here in the radio room. Uh, this is what I have for my uh, conversion kit so far. I want to share this with you all. Let me shine a light down on here. Hopefully you'll be able to see what all I have here. I'll start with the crystals up front. I just want to share with you what I have. It's slowly coming along, but it'll... Hopefully here before long I'll have everything I need. Uh, these crystals here are for the 20 meter band conversion. They're 10.7 megahertz. 10.700 megahertz. These here are uh, 7.200 megahertz. These are for the 40 meter band conversion to the Cobra 148, Union and Grant, Union Washington, uh, Cobra 142, and so on and so forth. Here we have the VCO coils. There's about 500 of them there. They all have to be rewound. I bought these, these are old Toco coils. I bought them all as uh, new old stock. They have to be uh, dewound. Not rewound, but dewound. Luckily for me, I got those uh, the way I did, and uh, dewinding them is not too bad. I've, I've done a few so far and uh, had real good luck. Oh, uh, these little black uh, things you see here, these are switching relays. There's about 120 of those there. Those are used for switching the uh, transmit and receive on my converted radios. Uh, well, switching the antenna between transmit and receive. Doesn't look like 120 of them there, but there is. Actually, I think there's a little more than that. Here you see several resistors. Up there, up this row. Now these resistors are uh, used for different radios. The uh, Cobra 148 and the Grant will use uh, two, um, or no, um, use the 2.2K uh, and 22K resistors in the uh, receive RF and receive mixer for more gain in those stages. There's a 10K resistor that's used in the 148s. Uh, the, the 148s use the 10K resistor along with a uh, 22K resistor and the um, Union Washington Cobra 142 is they use a 2.2K and a 22K and like I said before those are used in the uh, first stage uh, receive RF amplifier and the uh, mixer what you hear there in the background is a uh, Cobra 148 I've got say uh, one of the uh, sound trackers I'll talk about that here in a moment disc capacitors those are for the 20 meter band and 40 meter band conversions those go uh, to the tuned RF stages. Those are added across the uh, coils in certain places to help bring the coils, the tuned, uh, tuned coils for the tuned RF stages down to resonant frequency, whether it be 40 meters or 20 meters. Bag of capacitors, those are .01s. Those are going to be part of the uh, RF amplifier circuit that I am going to try to include in my kits. Uh, what you see here is two C twenty seventy eight. That is a uh, CB uh, final drive transistor, final RF amplifier transistor. I've had real good luck with it operating down on uh, forty meters and also one twenty meters. But um, I've had good luck with it down there. Uh, that for me it just works real well for what I'm doing. Now I, I bought several of those. There's probably one hundred fifty or so there. Well, actually, there's more than that. Um. Those are uh, 7808 8 volt regulators. Sometimes I'll get a radio, I'll buy a radio and the 8 volt regulator might be bad or something like that. And I bought those for experimenting with, but mostly I need to buy more of them. Those are going to be used in the um, RF circuits of these radios that are being converted to supply bias voltage to the final RF amplifier. I'll explain more of that later. Empty tray. That's going to be hopefully for toroids here before long. That's going to be part of the uh, bandpass circuits. That's coming in. That's going to be uh, coming off the final drive amplifier, final RF amplifier. That there's one of the last things I've got to complete to make the kits ready. Uh, back to the 148 sound tracker. This uh, radio came out of a trash dumpster at Dallas Pike Truck Stop. I don't know if somebody couldn't get it fixed or what it was. And when they threw it in the garbage can, they uh, cut several of the wires 
actually I had a heat shrink about 30 of them back together and I had to add wires here and there um, the sound tracker circuit what you see right here no longer is hooked up it's been bypassed and to bypass it I had to come over here it's really hard to see actually where it says ST4 and ST2 there's a little audio circuit there there's a jumper I had to add between ST4 and ST2 and that bypassed the sound tracker board never cared for it that uh, circuit anyway and uh, the power module for the uh, night watch head had to come out and they cut all the wires going to the RF gain control so all that's been that's been uh, taken care of on the bottom side of the board there's a lot of skip coming in from the UK today I'm on 38 lower side Good to hear conditions lasting this late into the day. The sound tracker radio is going to be the one, the next one I convert. Um, I'm going to go take it down to 40 meters. If I can convert it to 40, then I can convert it to 20. These radios are pretty finicky, I think. A lot of people don't like them. And this one here doesn't have the SO42P style transmit mixer in it. It's got the small IC chip metal on the bottom of the board. And it uses a 2314 uh, free driver. Now the, um, I don't know how well you can see them. 2SC2166 and 1969 are still there. I was surprised that that was still there when it was pulled out of the dumpster. Or garbage can, a buddy of mine found it and got a hold of me. And uh, took me took me a better part of a day. But putting wires back together and uh, I was able to find a schematic online and bypassing that sound tracker circuit that there um, that, that was something I figured out on my own and I just added a jumper over there and something else this radio has real good receive what I done was I removed C41 that goes between these two coils here in the first stage receive amp right there's your amp that goes to your antenna circuit um, Part of a part of a uh, bandpass circuit, like a low-pass filter, something, something, you know, to that effect. This is our receive mixer. I've already changed the uh, two resistors I needed to change. The one back here, which is a 10k, it went in the place of R49, and R54 is a 22k. That gave me some receive gain. <clears throat> to compensate any loss down the lower bands, but it works whether it works um, even on CB band, 20 meters, 40 meters CB band, so on and so forth. It, it gives you a little more gain, but it disables the RF gain control. But this transistor here is an MPF 102. I just thought it'd be interesting to remove C41, the coupling capacitor between these two coils, and um, add the uh, MPF 102 there. The center leg is grounded to the can, and the two outer legs that were left drop down the holes of a C41. Now um, I can't show you; I got the case still on the bottom, but um, there's a 680 ohm resistor that uh, supplies that transistor with uh, about one and a half volts. It comes off the eight volt receive bus. So I'll talk more about that later on. Um, my uh, MB8719 conversion channel, I'm going to be working on that. I've got to get some videos on there. People have been uh, emailing me, asking me about it. But um, that's what's going on. And besides that, me working all the time. Well, not all the time, but I do work a lot. And I do do a lot of driving uh, between here and up around Wheeling, West Virginia. So, But that's what I wanted to share with you all. And that's there being part of the what I've got for the kit and crystals, relays, VCO coils. It's going to be fun uh, dewinding them. So, But it'll, it, it can be done. So anyway, any questions? Please feel free to ask. 
and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, thanks again. This is Carl KC8YLT, saying 73 is in good DX.